Uh, thank you, Perry. As Perry said, I'm Lance Little, Aviation Managing Director here at SCA, spelled L-Y-T-T-L-E. Thank you all for being here today. First, I'd like to affirm that Seattle-Tacoma International Airport and the port of Seattle's maritime facility remains open and operating. Our teams are working around the clock to ensure everyone who uses our gateways can reach their destination safely and efficiently. The investigation into the cyber attack is ongoing and the port will provide appropriate updates as they become available. Know that our teams are focused on safely testing and restoring our systems and we continue to work closely with government and third party partners to support that effort. Keeping operations running and getting information out to our community and passengers is also a top priority. We'd like travelers to know that we're putting out regular communications and travel tips on our social media channels, including X, Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. The port's website is also being temporarily redirected to a landing page on the Washington Public Ports Association um, website, so thanks to WPPA. This site holds all the latest updates and ways to contact customer support, both here at SEA and at our cruise terminals. Operationally, everything is running close to normal and there have been limited flight cancellations since Saturday. SEA was able to bring the baggage sorting operations back online earlier this week and is making strong progress on fully restoring all baggage systems. Thanks to our partners at TSA and CBP, we are seeing normal operations at our uh, security checkpoints and our international arrivals. The biggest impact to passengers has been for those flying internationally and low volume carriers. These carriers have not, um, are not able to access our common use online uh, systems during the outage and may still be utilizing manual written boarding passes and luggage checks. This has caused some longer lines for their customers. However, um, one step we're taking this morning is working with our airline partners to start the process of turning on and testing systems for our common use carriers. Some airlines have brought in their own equipment to help speed up ticketing and bag uh, check processing and we're helping finding additional workarounds. The most apparent thing that passengers will probably notice is that our flight and baggage display boards around the airport are still down. I'd like to thank the hundreds of employees from across the port for stepping up to assist passengers and help people navigate some of these challenges. Also thank to those who are managing and facilitating the response to the incident and our operations. Lastly, thank you, the passengers, for your patience as we work um, a fully, to fully restore our systems. We are ready to welcome you for the busy upcoming weekend and wish everyone a safe travel. I'll be back with some travel tips, but at this time, I'd like to introduce Greg Hawker, our Federal Services Director for Washington State. Thank you, Lance. Um, Greg Hawko, I'm the Federal Security Director for the TSA. Uh, I oversee the nine airports across the state. Um, we're already in the beginning of what is gonna be our busiest Labor Day travel period of the history of this airport. In the period that will run through Wednesday, we're gonna screen just over 500,000 passengers. And when that happens, that means we're gonna screen over a million bags through our checkpoints and through our check baggage. Um, so it's important that people plan prior to coming to the airport. Take the time to check your bags before you start packing. Ensure that you do not have any prohibited items, any liquids, gels, or aerosols that are over 3.4 ounces. All of that can go in a check baggage, but with everything happening, we understand that people are more likely to bring carry-on bags. So please double check. That includes for firearms. This morning, uh, we had another firearm uh, detected here at the airport behind us. That brings us to 129 firearms in 2024 to date across the state of Washington. People continue to travel with firearms uh, and we need to ensure that people check their bags prior to coming so that we can ensure that everyone that travels through this airport is safe. Um, also, please, if you can, print your boarding pass at home prior to coming to the airport. Or you can use your airline's mobile uh, app to use a mobile boarding pass. We can still screen all of those with no issues. Uh, we're fully prepared and well-staffed for the weekend to meet uh, the expectations of TSA uh, with our wait times, and we will continue to operate with our robust screening procedures. Thank you. 
Um, thank you, Greg. Again, just a few travel t tips. I'd like to emphasize that the airport is open and operating and it's safe uh, to travel through the airport. Um, our busiest days will be this Labor Day. Um, holiday period will be Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. It's been a busy summer, as Greg just mentioned. Um, at SCA as a record for the largest um, passenger day, volume day um, ever was broken twice um, in August. Those numbers are uh, not expected to be surpassed for the holiday, but it will still be very uh, busy here. Most people will not notice uh, too much of a difference to their experience. Aircraft are arriving and departing as normal and have been throughout this entire situation. Travelers are also able to use the Spot Saver, uh, SEA Spot Saver program to schedule their security screening. Our dining and retail tenants and our order SEA program are all operating normally as well. The biggest travel tips right now, to reiterate uh, what Greg just said, utilize the airline website and apps to do as much as you can in the check-in process from home, um, including obtaining your boarding pass. Plan on how you will get to the airport and how long it will take you to get to the terminal. Be in the terminal at least two hours before your domestic and three hours before your international flight. If you are flying an international carrier or one of the smaller um, carriers, give yourself extra time if you need to check a bag or obtain a boarding pass as some of them are still utilizing manual processes. Finally, know we are here to help. Look for the port staff members in green shirts or vests. They'd be glad to help you find uh, where you need to go. So thank you for being here. At this time, we'll take a few questions, if you have any. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's still an active investigation, and we'll provide information as appropriate. As it's appropriate, as soon as we get information that we think it's appropriate to share with the public, then we'll do that. Mm -hmm. The, not, not at all. The police department has been supporting us, just like they have normally done. Uh, you'll see, especially where we have uh, congestions in the ticketing area, you'll see strong police presence, as always. Mm -hmm. Are travelers concerned about their personal private information at all? Not that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Oh, yes, we have had, yeah, we have had very few cancellations um, here at the airport. We have had some um, delays, but delays are normal, especially during these busy times. Oh, yes. Greg, you want to speak to that? Yes. Yes, thank you. All checkpoints have remained open throughout. Uh, none of the TSA's operational capabilities or equipment was affected, and uh, we've continued to screen uh, record volumes for a summer, including uh, almost 73,000 this past Sunday, which we'll do again this weekend. Uh, there'll be no capacity issues with checkpoints. Yes, absolutely. We are fully staffed uh, to our allocation. We um, have been throughout the year. We have done a lot of work with our hiring, uh, working with our headquarters and working with contractors to help speed up the hiring process and streamline it. We are at our allocation and we will have no issues meeting the demand. If I could, just, if I could also just add to that, in addition to our volunteers that we normally have at the airport, in addition to our contractors that we normally have at the airport and our pathfinders, we actually have staff members um, volunteering. Since this has started, we have had more than 700 of our employees that have volunteered to assist um, with, with um, uh, travel through the airports. So, okay. That's it. We have uh, industry experts that are working with us both at the government level and also industry experts at the local level as well. We can't say who they are. Mm -hmm.